Okay. And so what you have is you have this guy named Joe Collins. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. This right here. I, um, I left out the house to, you know, go run some errands, go to the ATM or whatever. And I saw this over there by the form. I saw Joe Collins and all of his peoples. And I was like, damn, man, like Joe Collins really got like, like, like peoples out here in the streets. I'm like, damn. Okay. So this is what I saw. Hold on. So this is a loop of a video that I saw uh, right there. Okay, this is my video. And as you can see, this is over there um, by the uh, by the form. Okay, so all these people came out for Joe Collins. Okay, and so this man is trying to steal the seat from Maxine Waters. Now, let me tell you what's going on. Maxine Waters, I'll break down to you her, um, her strengths and, and her accomplishments, but let me give you a summary. Maxine Waters is on Trump's ass, okay? She is the head of, like, you know what I mean, some sort of um, committee that is going after Trump's taxes, and they've been going after Trump's taxes for a minute. Maxine Waters is a quote-unquote political enemy to Donald Trump and them, and all of them devil Republicans. Now, um, so what the, the, so the Republicans, what they do is they try to find candidates that can beat Maxine Waters, OK, and so let me tell you what they did. Um, I believe it was four years ago. These devils had the nerve to get Stacy Dash, Dame Dash is what sister or cousin or whatever. They got Stacy Dash to run as a Republican in the 43rd district to unseat who? Maxine Waters. Maxine Waters happens to be the um, 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 subpoenaing Deutsche Bank, which is like this big criminal bank that's fine. That's basically like underwritten by Russians and dirty money. And this is who Donald Trump owes all this money to. So right now, Maxine Waters is trying to uncover and trying to get to the truth, the sword of justice. She's trying to get to the truth. And it's these devils that's trying to get her out of here. So the first thing they did was they got um, 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 Stacey Dash. And I was concerned, like, oh, wow, they're trying to, you know what I'm saying, get, you know what I mean? They're playing us for fools, you know what I mean? But here's the thing about Maxine Waters. She been representing Los Angeles and, you know, in different districts or whatever for the longest. She's like the longest running person in the whole Congress. Okay, so now what did they do? They found this 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 house nigga Joe Collins. Okay, Joe Collins said he from he from the hood. He said he said from South LA. Okay, whatever, whatever. But why you at the you at the um, Republican National Convention though? You know what I'm saying? You on Fox News though? You know what I'm saying? Whose man is you, bro? Like like I want to know who is putting Joe Collins on. Okay, where does his money come from? Is it the Heritage Foundation? Is it the Federalist Society? Like, which devils is putting money in, in, in you? Pause. All right. Now let me let's let's watch Joseph Collins on Fox News. Laura Ingram. Laura Ingram is like the worst media could possibly be. That Fox News is Russian propaganda. Period. Okay. All right. So. What did I find when I saw Joseph Collins over there? I think it should automatically play. Packing. Her packing, not him. And his new viral campaign ad just might help him get the job done. Do you know where I am right now? Maxine Waters' $6 million mansion. Do you know where I'm not right now? Maxine Waters' district. Yep, that's right. Maxine does not live in her district, but I do. I was born right. Okay, Maxine, she may not live in the district right now, but the district has changed like like so many times. Maxine Waters has represented over like three or four different districts in the Los Angeles area. And so what? She's been putting in so much work. She represents the hood. Maxine Waters, she got a um she has a um she has a offices in Hawthorne and I know for a fact that she has like a, a job um job training a spot over there in in the hood um by uh Bonnie Hunters in the Bonnie Hunter Watts hood um um ah, I forget what it's called and plus I know a lot of people that work for Maxine Waters too in, in all fairness here in South LA in a place Maxine refuses to live Max refuse to live that's not fair brother Maxine Waters does not drink our water. She does not breathe our air. And while she sits here in her mansion, 
Our district is in ruins. So they're running an anti-Maxine campaign. Joe Collins, you talking about what Maxine is not doing. Brother, what have you done? Who are you, man? Use a mystery, bro. Guys, vote no on Joseph Collins. The crime spiked 15% in South LA. The homicide rate in South LA has shot up by 53%. South LA has the highest poverty rate in the city, with the crippling 43% of its residents living below the poverty line. Homelessness rates have increased by 264% since 2009. And our schools fail our children. Unlike vaccine waters, I know the pain that crime, violence, gangs, homelessness does to our children. I was one of the kids left behind by Maxine Waters. I'm going to fight for safety and dignity for South L.A. The only question you need to ask is this. In the last 44 years, where has Maxine Waters... After decades in the swamp, my next guest says it's time to send Congresswoman Maxine Waters packing. Her packing, not him. And his new viral campaign ad just might help him get the job. Viral campaign, man. You got to be careful with that. You know what I'm saying? Every A lot of things in the Republican is paid for, man. Like they stars on the rise is paid for operatives. Uh, their viral campaign be uh, inauthentic. It's, it's, it's literally a marketing company behind it. Uh, even their, um, they call them Bro uh, Brooks Brothers uh, protests. Even their protests are fake. Th that's you spending money for people to come out. Almost everything they do on the right is inauthentic when it comes to this. Th there is no groundswell. There is no buzz amongst the people. A viral video. Man, come on, bro. Let's be honest, man. I'm done. Do you know where I am right now? Where? Maxine Waters' $6 million mansion. Okay, first of all, she deserves that, man. So what you saying, brother? So what you saying? Maxine Waters has been in the hood for like... For years, I know Maxine Waters, um, I know people that work for her. I know she has an office like in Hawthorne. And I also know that Maxine Waters, she uh, she has like a job training and placement in Watts over there by the projects, by the uh, the Bonnie Hunter, Bonnie Hunter Watts over there, you know? So like she put in work for the hood. Uh, she can have a house, a six, she deserved that shit. What you talking about, bro? You know what I mean? You's a hater, nigga? Maxine Waters district. Yep, that's right. Maxine does not live in her district, but I do. I was born right here in South LA, in a place Maxine refuses to live. Maxine Waters does not drink our water. Bro, bro, Maxine Waters' name is all up in your mouth, bro. Like, who are you, man? So you running anti... Look at you. You on Fox News running anti-Maxine Waters. You just a replaceable part, bro. You nobody, man. You not nobody. They Okay, they say you're black, you're from the area, you're a vet. Okay, you were hand-picked, man. You are not organic, man. You're going to fizzle out. I hope our people ain't buying the shit you selling, man. She does not breathe our air. And while she sits here in her mansion, our district is in ruins. Deadly crime spike 15% in South. Yo, Alfonso on street TV, man. Like, yo, man. Like, I respect. First of all, I respect you, 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 everything you've done, man. I need to first say that. I respect everything you're doing. But why you give this brother a shot? The first thing I heard from Joe Collins was on um, Street TV, man, which is like, it's, it's a YouTube um, that, that talk about street gangs in Los Angeles. And they and he interviewed him trying to get Auntie Maxine. Yo, Maxine has done... Anyway. The homicide rate in South LA has shot up by 53%. South LA has the highest poverty rate in the city with the crippling... 43% of its residents living below the poverty line. Homelessness rates have increased by 264% since 2009. And our schools fail our children. Unlike Maxine Waters, I know the pain that crime, violence, gangs, homelessness does to our children. I was one of the kids left behind by Maxine Waters. I'm going to fight. Yo, man, be mindful of the, of the games that these Republicans play, man. A lot of it is fear, games, violence, crime, poverty. Like, like, look at how they do that, man. They trying to do the keywords, man. They, 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 you know what I mean? They negative as a mug. Safety and dignity for South L.A. The only question you need to ask is this. In the last 44 years, where has Maxine Waters been? Where has she been? Nigga, where have you been? Where have you been? You you want you want to know where Maxine Waters has been? We're gonna we're gonna break down where she's been. 
Joining me now, the candidate behind that ad, Joe Collins, Gosh. Navy vet and candidate for California's 43rd congressional. If you really want to change our hood, bro, like Maxine Waters is a gatekeeper. If you really want to change, you go through her, man. You know what I'm saying? You sit down with her. You go through her, man. You don't go to war with Maxine Waters. And you go to war with us, bro. You go to war with Inglewood. You go to war with, you know how many votes? You know how many of our parents, you know what I'm saying? Our aunties and our mamas voted for Maxine Waters. You know how many times, bro? You know how much love she got in, in black LA? Like, come on, man. Like, what are you doing here, bro? And who's supporting you? Like, obviously, it's money behind you and money in your back. And you being pushed by them folks. You feel me? You remember Iggy Azalea? Like, she wasn't organic. She didn't come up because she had undeniable skill. She was clearly a battery in her back. She was an operative that just didn't pan out. This nigga's an Iggy Azalea of politics. District. Joe, I know you're at the Trump rally tonight, but that video racked up 3 million views. More than that, less than 48 hours. So... What's the response been? Are you raising money from that? And what about the people in the actual district that you want to represent? What, what have you heard? Yeah, so the, the video was actually an anomaly. You know, we have a really good team that put that video together. So shout out to everybody on Team Collins. But we've always been doing good at fundraising because the messaging that we've been bringing to the people is a message of rebuilding the community. Okay, we've been doing good at fundraising. Now... Just like Jamie Harrison in, in um, South Carolina, his his finances is not coming from the actual hood that he has to win. His financing is coming from 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 um, Republicans and devils and stuff all over the um, the country who want to see Maxine Waters out of there. A bunch of Trump supporters. So that's where the money's coming from. It's not like it's an organic buzz that's happening in in the city he's running for because he's not getting no traction here bringing quality jobs back, um, you know, supporting small businesses and overhauling our education as well as rebuilding the relationship. Bro, why you got the same outfit on, man? Did you shoot this video and did this interview all in the same day? Within the uh, police and the community, the police and the community. And so these are things that people actually... Bro, bro, you wearing the same thing, bro. Like, you don't have no more, you don't have another outfit? Like, what we doing, bro? what to have i mean maxine she's been in office for a very long time yes she has well wow you know what i'm saying you was fighting for the country so salute to you but bro like so you can't just pop up and act like she ain't did nothing and if you live in south la you know the conditions of the district then it's absolutely not normal the people are ready for a change well joe the ad uh, mentioned this but crime in los angeles homicides up 15 percent this year but Congressman Waters, she says the police are the problem, and she tweeted this back in June. She said, police reform is not enough. Getting rid of serial, racist, ignorant, stupid cops must be a priority. What's the matter with that? You know what I'm saying? Like, she is right. Like, you mean to tell me they're not stupid ass, racist ass cops out there? Oh, my God. She called the stupid racist cops racist and stupid. Oh, my God. Do you guys see what's going on here? And if you vote for this man, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure the cops appreciated that. Joe, how much worse will life become I can't. for residents in your district if this perpetual Democrat, you know, machine, the stranglehold on power that they have... Per stranglehold on power... You mean the you mean the Republicans who's who's running up the numbers with with with, with judges in in the Supreme Court in the judicial branch? You talking about you talking about Trump putting up over a hundred different motherfucking conservative judges, many of them who are not um, qualified. You mean that you talking about stranglehold on power? What are you talking about? Yes. Oh, it's gonna get real bad. I mean, we can see from homelessness already is that it's been skyrocketing since 2009. And, you know, Maxine, she's a legislator. She has the power to create or remove legislation and affect positive change and bring value to our lives. And she has failed to do that for the amount of time that she spent in Congress as well as the state Senate and um, the state assembly. So, I mean, if we do not remove her from office, if we don't start electing new people into office, we are going to continue to see uh, a downslide.
decline in our communities, economic decline in our communities. No, brother. If we if we get you in there, you are going to be a tool, a puppet. You know what I'm saying? A hoe to the Republican Party. You you have no power, my nigga. Like real shit. Like you're gonna do whatever they tell you to do, bro. And then what you're gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, under Republican um, leadership, the hood has been even worse, man. For, uh, uh, war on crime, war on black people. You know what I'm saying? Black males locked up at unprecedented rates. Um, no more school funding. Like, let's come on, bro. Like, yo, is she perfect? No. You know what I'm saying? Does the hood need help? Yes, it does. But, bro, what you 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 you're, you're you're making problems worse, man. I, yeah, I can't take too much of this, man. I'm, I'm going to go to her accomplishments in a second. And violence is going to get worse. And Joe, she took a direct shot at you, Maxine did last month, saying, he's a Trump puppet. He's a big supporter of Trump, and he loves Trump, and he's acting just like Trump because of all the lies that he tells all the time. Joe, you know, I'm looking at you. I don't see any strings there. I see no strings. I do. I see one right here. I see one right here. I see one right here. I see one keeping his nose up. You know what I mean? The puppet master got him in the same damn outfit over and over again. I do see strings, man. Yo, I'm off this brother, man. I'm off him. I'm off him. Real shit. I'm off him. I'm off him. All right. So let's do this, man. Let's let's run this on loop. Matter of fact, we're gonna we're gonna play. We're gonna play. Tanya, I know you're in your car too, which is hilarious. All right, so, so here we go. All right, Auntie Maxine, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break down. Let me see. It's kind of loud. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna break down Maxine, Auntie Maxine. Who is she, and what does she do, and why you should vote for her? Okay. So when you go in there, you're gonna vote for Joe Biden, yeah, but you voting for Maxine Waters, and we'll go over other candidates in other videos. How much time am I at? Okay, woof, this is a lengthy video. All right, um, let's go here. All right, Maxine Moore Waters. First of all, her middle name is Amore. She's a Moore. That's what's up. All right, um, she has been in the uh, 43rd Congressional District since 1991. Uh, the district changed names a bunch of times. Uh, portions of Los Angeles, Gardena, Inglewood, and Torrance. Um, she's the chair of the House Financial Services Committee. That's a high-ranking job over there. Okay. Uh, she's from St. Louis. She got two kids. She is the most senior member of the 12 black women currently serving in Congress. Wow. Congressional Black Caucus from 1997 to 99. She is the second most senior member of the Congressional after Nancy Pelosi. Damn, Nancy Pelosi is third in line. So if something happened to Trump and Michael Pence, Pelosi becomes president. And so you mean to tell me that she's right behind Pelosi? Oof, good for her, man. Um, all right, let's see. She advocated South Africa's apartheid opponent. Uh, from the Iraq war. She criticized Bush and Donald Trump. She even criticized Barack Obama. Uh, let me see. Oh, Maxine Waters was included in Times Magazine 100 Most Influential People of 2018. You're talking about in the twilight of her career or whatever. She over there still dropping bars, right? Making time. You know what I mean? In 2018. You know what I'm saying? All right, what else? She graduated Vashon High School in St. Louis. She moved to L.A. in 61. She was a telephone operator. She was an assistant teacher at the Head Start program in Watts in 1966. She went to Cal State L.A. in sociology. Oh, man, her sister died of COVID. All right, um... What else? Okay. House of Representatives. She was working with Bill Clinton. She has won with 79% of the vote. Bro, you gotta, you gotta, you better get a lot of money from them devils, bro. Uh, she has been reelected consistently from this district 
renumbered from the 35th in 1992 to the 43rd in 2012 with 70% of the vote. That's like Vladimir Putin numbers, man. Uh, she represented large part of the South Central, uh, Westchester, Playa del Rey, Torrance, Gardena, Hawthorne, Inglewood, and Lawndale. Okay. All right, she's known um, for, for, you know what I mean, being unruly. That's what's up. Her conflict with some, some peoples, some controversy. Uh, she worked on the anti-fraud laws and for-profit education. She, so she's been against, like, the national universities and the, you know what I mean, that's, that's for-profit. Um, she got, she got KTLA, a renewal license. Oh, she's big on the FCC. She's pushing big FCC, federal, you know, regulations dealing with, you know, telecommunications, you know, broadcasting and cable. Okay. She's a super delegate. She endures Hillary Clinton. She endorsed Barack Obama. What else? Okay, with the retirement of Barney Frank in 2012, Waters became the ranking member of the House Financial Services Committee. That's that bread. She really controlled that bread. The amendment targeted the domestic surveillance activities of that of the National Security Agency. Damn. Man, she's putting in work, man. Uh, she she did she a uh, national housing trust fund. Okay, she uh, she helped uh, uh, get block grants, uh, uh, helped with rental housing, disabled people. Uh, she was influential in the Rodney King riot, it, like like you know what I mean, doing legislation, no just no peace legislation and the riots. Uh, she 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 backed Michael Jackson and the CIA. In fall of 1996, article showed the complicity of the CIA in Los Angeles in the crack epidemic. Waters called for an investigation. Damn, she was the one that called for an investigation on the CIA pumping drugs in the hood, man. Right? The whole Freeway Rick situation. Remember Gary Webb and all that. You know what I'm saying? I think Gary Webb died, too. Damn. That was a whole Ronald Reagan situation. All right, what else, man? Before we get up out of here, man, uh, she she was she's on the uh, she's on the, the bumper of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae, and and, did, and trying to get back uh, student loan money that you know we getting hit upside the head with. Uh, ooh, her husband is the director of One United Bank, which is a black bank over there on Crenshaw. Man, I love this sister, man. Louis Farrakhan. She got Louis Farrakhan. In early 2018, Waters was among the members of the Congress of the Republican Jewish Coalition called to resign due to her connections with the Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan. But she didn't quit. So she backed the minister. She was down with the minister. Them Jews got on her, and she she didn't she didn't she didn't stop the fight. Man, they even tried to bomb the sister, man. They sent packages to her house. Some devils, some Trump devils, some maggots did that. So yeah, man, that's what's up, man. She's a founding member in the in the um, out of Iraq caucus. Yo, man, this sister did a lot, man. So uh, yeah, man, we're gonna end there, man. Yo, Maxine Waters. So that's that, okay? I I made I made my my, my case. No on Joe. No, no Collins. No on Joe. Yes on Maxine. All right, I'm Ali Salam. This is either the affairs of men or so LA. Cause here in affairs of men, we talk politics. And so LA, we talk LA. So this is LA politics. So it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's affairs of me because it's political, but at the same time, it's all about LA. All right, that's what it is, man. Ali Salam. Peace.